Imagine paying four times less and still taking home a device that promises to rival the world's most expensive cell phones. That's exactly the explosive proposition of the Tesla Pi Phone 2026, launched with a shocking price tag of just $319, while Apple pushes the iPhone 17 Pro Max for an unbelievable one two hundred to nine ninety nine nine. Elon Musk comes out with a blunt message. The era of overpriced smartphones may be about to end. It's more than a phone. It's a declaration of war against luxury disguised as necessity. Those who look at the price tag are skeptical, but those who look at the details understand the plan behind this revolution. Elon Musk has demonstrated this trick before. When electric vehicles were still millionaires' toys, he launched the Model 3 to the masses and then promised the Model 2 for under $25,000. Now, he's doing the same with the world of smartphones. But it's not just about undercutting prices. It's about reprogramming the way the public perceives value. By offering something powerful, modern, and integrated for less than half the price of its competitors, Tesla challenges the very concept of top of the line. And if this works for cars, why not for wallets? The price difference between the devices is so stark that you could buy four Pi phones for the price of a single iPhone 17 Pro Max. This alone makes the comparison almost comical. And that's precisely the effect Musk seems to be aiming for, to ridicule the astronomical prices charged by Apple and Samsung, which increase with each new generation while delivering increasingly subtle improvements. The Pi phone doesn't want to compete in the same game. It wants to change the rules. And when we talk about accessibility, the impact goes beyond the individual consumer. We're talking about millions of people in emerging countries, young people without high purchasing power, professionals who depend on connectivity but can't afford $1,000 for a device. This cell phone has the potential to become a popular phenomenon, not only for its symbolic value, but for the real utility it promises to deliver. It's not a cheap toy, but a tool for technological inclusion. Another point that draws attention is the timing of this move. With the smartphone market saturated, brands like Apple and Samsung maintain their profit margins by banking on the blind loyalty of their users. But this also creates a vulnerability. If someone comes along offering an equivalent or superior product at a much lower price, loyalty begins to waver. And that's precisely how Tesla shook up the automotive industry years ago, with a product that seemed unlikely until it became inevitable. The Pi phone comes as a punch to the wall at a time when consumers are increasingly conscious of their spending. In a world where paying more doesn't always mean getting more, Tesla's model raises an uncomfortable question. Why are we still willing to pay $1,000 for a cell phone? This question may seem simple, but it's devastating for brands that build value on exclusivity, not true innovation. And if Apple wants to respond, it will have to do more than just release a slightly improved version of its previous iPhone. It will have to clearly explain what justifies its prices, and that answer may not be as convincing as it once was. This is where Tesla strengthens its position, not only as a manufacturer, but as a symbol of a new way of consuming technology. A symbol that says, you don't need to go into debt to have access to the best. Tutu. Instead of coming in shouting, we have the best camera or the fastest chip, the Pi phone enters through the consumer's most sensitive side, their wallets. And when it enters, it doesn't ask permission. It arrives questioning everything, from the added value to the marketing strategies of the giants. With this, Elon Musk once again hits the mark in what he does best, creating tension, generating noise, and forcing the giants out of their comfort zone. If the first bombshell was the price, the second comes in form. The Pi phone's design isn't just different, it's a direct challenge to current standards. It all starts with the screen. Forget notches, dynamic islands, or visible cutouts. Tesla is opting for a front-facing camera hidden beneath the display, resulting in a completely clean surface. This changes the experience. It's as if, 
for the first time, the user has a true infinite panel in the palm of their hand. And that, coming from a newcomer to the smartphone sector, would be bold enough. But not for Elon Musk. Tesla's proposal goes beyond aesthetics. The seamless design isn't just a visual whim. It anticipates a future where the phone merges with the user experience, without distractions or physical barriers. The absence of cutouts in the screen seems like a detail, but it communicates something much bigger. The desire to restart the smartphone concept from scratch. While Apple and Samsung continue to iterate on familiar formulas, Tesla decided to scratch everything and create a new story. Except the looks are just the beginning. Inside, the Pi phone packs what could be the real game changer, its battery. According to persistent rumors, Tesla may equip the device with aluminum ion or sodium ion, abandoning the lithium standard that has dominated the market for decades. This isn't just any improvement. It's a fundamental change, comparable to replacing a machine's heart with a more efficient, faster, and more resilient organ. Charging speed also factors into this equation. We're talking about the ability to go from 0 to 80% in just 10 minutes. This isn't just practical, it's transformative. How often do users need to give it a quick charge before rushing out the door? How often do they waste time waiting for their phone to become minimally usable? With this technology, waiting becomes a thing of the past. What's more, it can change user behavior regarding their phone use. Another point that draws attention is the battery's durability. The new chemistries promise two to three times more life cycles than lithium batteries, drastically reducing degradation. In practice, this means a device that remains functional for much longer, even after years of intense use. In a market where planned obsolescence seems to be the norm, this proposal almost sounds like a manifesto. The Pi phone doesn't want you to change your device every year. It wants to be the same device, useful, for much longer. And this speaks directly to a new type of consumer, people who are no longer impressed by a new camera or 5% more performance, people who seek durability, functionality, and, above all, freedom of choice. With a battery that doesn't force the user to discard the phone after two or three years, the Pi phone promises exactly that. Independence from the industry that makes you buy the same product every year, under a different name. Furthermore, it's worth remembering that these technologies didn't just emerge. Tesla had been working on more efficient batteries for its vehicles for years. Now, these innovations are migrating to personal devices, making the Pi phone part of something bigger. It's not just a smartphone. It's a fragment of the engineering applied to the world's most advanced cars, translated to fit in your pocket. This is the kind of detail that changes consumer perception. Ultimately, the Pi phone offers a different kind of deal. Not just a good-looking phone, but a device designed to last, charge quickly, and not degrade easily. This combination defies all logic in today's market. And if the numbers hold true, not even the iPhone's gleam will be able to overshadow the silent and dangerous impact of this revolutionary battery. While the battery promises autonomy, what can truly liberate the user is connectivity. And this is where the Pi phone appears to be pulling off its boldest move. Direct network integration. Starlink from Tesla itself. This means internet access and voice calls even in places where there are no cell towers, deserts, mountains, rural areas, and the high seas. For the first time, a personal phone can break free from dependence on traditional carriers and work where previously there was only digital silence. This feature transforms the concept of coverage. Today, even the world's most expensive devices are still slaves to the infrastructure of major carriers. Apple even offers a limited satellite SOS system, but only for emergencies and with serious restrictions. Tesla's proposal goes further. It aims to offer total, constant, and intermediary-free connection. Instead of waiting for the signal from the nearest tower, the Pi phone looks to the sky and connects directly to the satellites. The logic behind this is brutally simple and effective. 
If Tesla already has a constellation of thousands of satellites in orbit, why not use them to transform its own products into standalone devices? It's the same mindset that led the company to build its own supercharger network instead of relying on third-party stations. The Pi phone doesn't want to be just another smartphone on the market. It wants to be a new way of being connected, literally from anywhere. And this independence can be more useful than it seems at first glance. Imagine traveling through a remote region, hiking a trail with no signal, working in remote areas, or simply passing through areas with unstable climates. Having a device that stays connected even without 4G or 5G can be the difference between comfort and risk. This makes the Pi phone not only a technological tool, but also a tool for security, personal safety, for businesses, field professionals, first responders, adventurers, and even truck drivers, this Starlink connection represents a productivity and reliability gain that no traditional smartphone currently offers. And even for urban users, this promise of constant connection has a strong emotional appeal. The idea of never being off the grid again. Elon Musk understood this and decided to transform the sky into a signal tower for everyone. But the most curious thing is how this feature redefines the device's very value. A $319 cell phone with integrated global internet now competes with models costing three or four times as much, but which still rely on fixed towers and urban areas. The cost-benefit ratio becomes almost embarrassing for competitors. And the more people realize this, the more the market will feel the blow. This integration with Starlink also creates an invisible link between Tesla products. The phone you carry in your pocket can connect to the same system that powers the internet in your electric car, your home, or your expedition van. It's a digital web with a single owner, Elon Musk. And by centralizing this infrastructure, Tesla creates a kind of dependence that doesn't feel like an obligation. It feels like convenience, and convenience is what sells most in the 21st century. Ultimately, what the Pi phone proposes with Starlink isn't just technical innovation. It's a complete reconfiguration of how we connect, where we connect, and who controls that connection. And perhaps that's the scariest or most exciting part of this whole story. If the Pi phone already seemed revolutionary, what's coming next could very well put the entire technology market on its back. Tesla isn't just creating a cell phone, it's developing Asmart Command Center. And that starts with the company's proprietary operating system, Tesla OS, running on top of the chip AI5, the same used in self-driving cars, and the humanoid robot Optimus. This elevates the phone from a simple gadget to a personal control command for the entire brand ecosystem. What sets this approach apart is the degree of integration between hardware, software, and artificial intelligence. While Apple and Samsung still compete with chips aimed at entertainment and media consumption, Tesla is preparing a system designed to interact directly with cars, satellites, robots, and even factories. The Pi phone, in this context, would be more than a smartphone. It would become an extension of Tesla's own neural network, controlling functions, analyzing patterns, learning from the user, all in real time. And the key piece of this integration could be the Grok 5 AI, developed by XAI, an artificial intelligence startup also controlled by Musk. This AI, expected to be embedded in the Pi phone, has ambitions that surpass those of any current virtual assistant. We're talking about a system that, according to preliminary tests, already rivals the capacity of human reasoning in AGI benchmarks if Grok 5 truly achieves this level. The relationship between humans and technology will be completely rewritten. The idea is simple, but bold. A cell phone that not only responds to commands, but understands intentions, anticipates needs, and suggests proactive solutions. Imagine leaving home and, without even touching your phone, it can calculate the best route, unlock your car, adjust the temperature, schedule charging, and even send you a notification if you're running late. 
This isn't science fiction. It's exactly the kind of synergy Tesla promises with this new ecosystem. And this integration could expand even further. With Tesla OS and the AI5 chip, the Pi phone would be able to interact directly with the humanoid robot Optimus, transforming the phone into a physical AI remote control. This means that household tasks, maintenance, or even industrial commands could be handled from your pocket. It's as if, for the first time, the smartphone stopped being just a window into the digital world and became the key to controlling the physical world around the user. Furthermore, all this computing power isn't being built just to impress. It has a purpose. Tesla is betting on a world where devices aren't just tools, but autonomous entities capable of partial reasoning connected to each other by a common network. And that network, of course, would be operated by itself. The Pi phone is the first tangible step in that direction. This idea of a phone as a user's secondary brain operating silently to optimize daily tasks completely challenges the current model. Today, we rely on dozens of disconnected apps with rigid interfaces. With Tesla OS, everything could work in sync with fluid logic, like a natural conversation between you and your technology. And this fluidity could completely change the way people use and choose their phones. With so many interconnected elements, the Pi phone ceases to be an isolated product and becomes a central link of a new digital era where artificial intelligence, mobility, automation, and global connectivity merge. And if Elon Musk can deliver even half of what he promises, we might not be looking at a new cell phone, but rather a new model of connected life. Amidst so many advances hidden within the Pi phone's casing, there's one detail that seems simple, but has the power to change the user's immediate perception, the screen. And not just any screen. We're talking about a display that can reach up to 3,000 nits of brightness, vastly surpassing the current 2,000 nits maximum of the iPhone 17 Pro Max. It seems like just a technical number at first glance, but for anyone who's tried using their phone in bright sunlight, it makes all the difference. Outdoor visibility transforms. What's on the screen is suddenly right in front of your eyes with crystal clarity. But the extreme brightness is just the tip of the iceberg. It's symbolic of something bigger. Tesla's attempt to deliver the most technology possible at a fraction of the price of competitors. It's as if Musk is saying, it's not enough to cost less. You have to deliver more. Your the screen with its high sharpness exceptional brightness and minimal bezels becomes the showcase of this philosophy. It not only improves the user experience, but represents the quiet ambition behind every engineering choice. This ambition, however, doesn't exist alone. It connects to what has been demonstrated so far. Next generation batteries, satellite connectivity, integrated artificial intelligence, and a proprietary operating system. All of this revolves around a common point, transforming a $319 cell phone into an object of desire not for status, 